Hello everybody, my name is Fluffer and welcome to FTL or Faster Than Light. Uh, this is a game by Subset Games that came out, I don't even know when, years ago. And I've played it a couple of times before. And I loved it, and I just felt like I should play it now. Start a new game. I just got, I, I actually just got it for myself, but I used uh, friends and stuff that had it, and I had them. I watched them play and stuff. But, I think I'm just gonna go with the basic stuff, because, I don't know, I just don't know what to change. I don't think I can, I don't think I have any more ships. Yeah. This is a ship list. Here you can get a summary of all your achievements and see your progress in unlocking all the playable ships. For veteran players of FTL, you'll see there are some changes from the original style. To unlock a new ship, you have two options. Find and complete a unique quest within the game world, these will often start in the home world sectors. Alternatively, beat the game with the previous ship in the list to unlock the next. Hover over any ship to get more details. Unlock this and you get to the fifth sector without, with, with any layout of the Kestrel. There have been rumors of advanced construction of the Inrigal Stronghold. Alternate, defeat the Royal Flagship with any land of the, of the Angie Cruiser. Okay. So, how do I exit out of this? That's out. <clears throat> and advanced edition content. Might as well name what about the advanced edition? <coughs> so, let's start this just on normal difficulty. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need. You'll need support is for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Score. Your score is based on how many ships you defeat, the number of beacons explored, and your total scrap collection. Okay. And I guess... I, I have to plot a course, so if I go here, I can go here, and I'm stuck. I go here, I can go here. I have to take a long this will be the shortest route. Okay. Actually this will be shorter. <clears throat> a mantis vessel hails you. This hail is merely a distraction. You notice the shields and weapons are coming in line. Oh, have I told you I don't remember how to play this, I just remember quick that. I remember this is like a real time strategy, but it's fine. It's fine. Break their stuff. So I remember how to do. There we go. See how it works. And someone already died. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. <laughs> well, somebody is already dead. I apparently need a pilot. Oh wait, wait, wait! Repair that. Just, just fix that, both of you. <clears throat> this is the shield room. Warning: shield critical. Yeah. Partially damaged. Go in here. Go in here. No, you're not. Go in here. Jump. Yeah, I love the backdrops. The backdrops are beautiful. There's a single ship at this beacon. They hail you. We could really use some help. Our FTL navigation system is shot. Can you help us get to a nearby station where they can patch us up? Sure. Great. Take this bit of fuel as down payment. We'll be one step behind you. You're following. Don't. Wait. Add a quest marker. Okay. I want to go to distress. <clears throat> You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. It's just supposed to be about your sure family was on board. Hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies, and they suggest a trade. I give them three missiles, so that's what that is, right? Because it's the same symbol as down here. Uh, so I have only a certain number of missiles. 
and I receive. I'm guessing red means lose. Yeah, three. That. No. <laughs> Not giving you weapons. I'm gonna stop by the store. See what happens there. They're probably going to see me and shoot me. But you know, a ship engineer set up a small shop here. I can buy people, cause human trafficking is a thing in the future. Uh, still a thing now. Now let's not go there. I cannot afford anything, so I shall leave and go to their quest marker. Upon arriving at this beacon, you detect a distress call. Local scans reveal that the Federation transport is under attack from Rebel Scout. Well, I mean, I'm the Federation, right? I also want to take a moment to say that I'm glad that for once, I, it's not Rebels versus the Federation. Like, everything you see is like the Rebels versus the... whatever. For once, you're the Federation. <clears throat> oh, this takes forever. <clears throat> Apparently they missed me. Apparently I missed them. <laughs> that did so much. That was easy. Contact the Federation ship. Thank you for saving us. This ship is transporting Federation civ civilians on the run from the Rebellion, and we don't have the equipment to fight for ourselves. I don't have too much to offer, but I can inform you of a hidden Federation base nearby. Perhaps they can assist you. Add a quest marker to your map. Right where I'm going. Um, I'm going there. Your escort. You escort the ship to the requested beacon. Much to your dismay, you are ambushed by Hurlers if you walk right into their trap. Oh. I was so nice to these people. And what did they repay me with? Death. I don't know what that is, I'm breaking it. These are- wait, those are drones, aren't they? I can't. Number of drone parts. Using a drone consumes one drone part. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Let's break their O2. They don't need oxygen, I hope. Wait, actually, I hope they do need oxygen so I can, you know... I want them to die. They're trying to kill me, they need to die. We have to take us- take everything we have. Just don't kill us. No! Die! <coughs> Excuse me. I can see the doors opening. <laughs> That's right. Don't shoot me! Who recognizes this? As a well-known slave trader, he owes you and offers you laborers for cheap. Buy one slave and let them join your true tax slavers again. Yeah, buy someone. <laughs> go there. Go there. I don't want them to take. Actually, I don't want them to take down shields more. <coughs> I freed them just so they can be removed. <laughs> After a quick search, you discover the hidden Federation space dock. They offer you some supplies in addition for fully repairing your ship. Take it. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Well, it first seems to be a simple nebula, it is actually filled with a good amount of debris. From brutal exchange between several ships, wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without a closer investigation. You might as well investigate. You scan the battle, you were able to salvage some useful material from the wreckage. I don't like this. Mantis controlled section. Why would I go with the most dangerous? I mean, I'm guessing red is bad. Yeah, hostile. Purple is nebula. So, my choices are go green, where there's people, or go red, where I have a choice of going more, more death, or radioactive space gas. I go green. <laughs> Just love that radioactive space gas. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next section before the person. Ah, Alright, same as last time. <coughs> to the store! <clears throat> A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. We send out an away party to check out. I can buy more people if I had money. 
Can I sell things? Oh, no, I'm gonna sell my guns. <clears throat> Fuel, I have 17. I should be fine. <laughs> Not visible. Okay. The nebula will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. That's really my only choice, isn't it? Oh, I could go there. Uh, radio arch space gas. <coughs> you jump into a calmer part of the nebula. However, your relief is fades as a rebel scout jumps to the beacon and moves into attack. Of course. What does that mean? Hey, why? What? He's mind controlled. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, and he shoots him. Come on, come on. This isn't necessary. We can talk about this. Or not. Have it your way. Oh, it's an auto survey, it's not even. <laughs> Never mind, we can't talk about it. It doesn't know how to talk. More radioactive space gas. My favorite. Danger, danger. Oh, great. You find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby. The remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some useful debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard. Follow them the shots of a boarding party. And I don't know where they are. Weapons room, probably. No, there's... More of them than they are of us. Heal. Heal, guys. At least we get to heal. Hey! Hey, where, where are you guys going? You guys can go in here. Yes, yes, they're chasing us. If we're healing and they're dying at the same time, it's gonna be. Hard. This works. You fix the oxygen. <laughs> it's spitting on them. You fix the oxygen. Fix the weapons. Be a pilot. Fix the engines. <coughs> There's like a radioactive storm or something. Yay! Let's open the airlocks. <laughs> Just <laughs> not a good idea. Can, can you fix that any faster? Wait, is that like combat? Piloting? Engine skills? Shield skills? Swim skill? Repair skill? And combat skill. I want to leave the space gas, but I gotta go through one more layer of it. You nervously glance out the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. Oh, that's better than deadly space gas. <laughs> I mean, oh no, I mean, it's better than anything else. I mean, we've been attacked every time. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest d depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? Yes. Just because one betrayed us doesn't mean that a second will. Of course. Why wouldn't it be back here? No, I'll do it. For you, little guys. Ignore the pirate. No, I'm not getting into another combat with my ship already partially destroyed. <coughs> you arrived, and the ship you were escorting jumps in behind you. Thanks for the help. We work at a nearby fusion core plant. We could try to improve your reactor's output as a form of compensation. Upgrade the reactor by one. And see, just because they stab you in the back once does not mean they'll stab you in the back twice. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> <coughs> okay, you're really bad at fixing that. There we go. Let's go to the store. Is it always got time to go shopping in the middle of running away from psychopaths? You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you, and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. 
Heavy laser two. Two quick shots is at each two damage. So the teleporting unit that, that floods the room with nanobots capable of completely repairing all system damage. Ion black pixel. Shield charge booster. Reverse ion field protects from ion damage, giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. Disable systems without causing hole damage. I'm not quite sure what all that does. But I mean, I know what disabling a system would do, but I don't know how much that would help me in the long run. Let's try it. Right. You receive a wide band message. Free schematic samples, be sure to visit our new military-grade drone store opening in Sector XR1-45. Defense Drone Mark 1. So now I have a defense drone. How do I set it up? How do I use it? Oh, I don't have a... What do I need to do that? Provides power to all the ship's systems. Wait, so I can upgrade ship systems? With scrap. This goes up. Alright, so that's how I can add more weapons probably. There you go. Uh, this whole controlled zone. Go to the home worlds. They might be more friendly. I don't know who these people are. Oh, great. More deadly space gas. You're far from Federation home space here in Sultan territory. As an October, the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. Oh. Distress call. <coughs> you can't shoot a guy trying to help you. Can't. Yeah, you can't. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and a repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or save what. I'm gonna try to help. You simply fire on the defense system on the distance. You fire a few volleys from a distance, and it's clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there's trouble. <laughs> I mean... You can't fix it! Might as well break it further. <laughs> Still a bad device. You can't see anything through the th thick gases surrounding your ship. Without knowing what is out there, all you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. My only real option is to go here, here, here. I can just. Okay, I'm just gonna go here. Wait, this is where I wanted to go, was it? Despite two pirate ships lurking in a nebula, they remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get one of your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying the field supplies, the other is the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the store. Uh, no. They're probably better, you know, better suited for this kind of combat than I am. Prefer not to just start beating up random people. I'm, not, I'm supposed to be carrying intel to my base. Not being space vigilante. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? This beam is most, is most powerful when targeting large, empty section of hole. Damage per room hit one. It looks good, but I don't have anything. A clone bay? Eh. Why do I have to be poor? A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely just a tourist trap, but still, but still, too bad you don't have time to visit. All right. You, you arrived at the long-range beacon when the FTL drives charging jump. Your sense has picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt, one of the many fleeing. With many fleeing the rebel events. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a resultant ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives before you can respond to cuts communications and powers up his weapons. Jeez. They have a, they're quick to shoot. Why is this green and why is. Yeah, why, what's going on? Oh no. You know, it didn't have to be like this.
Oh, whoa, I've got apparently upgraded sensors or something because I didn't use. Oh, wait. R really? Quit shooting my sensors. Come on, load faster. Here. It'll be hard for you to kill me when you can't breathe. Okay. <coughs> this one should bring sporting salvage. A boarding drone. 22 scrap. The refugee thanks you for your assistance. And it's just for goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship. They offer it with supplies they can spare. Heal. Heal. I like how I found an alien named Jack. Like, I would have expected to have what we would consider a weird name. I don't know, it's just named Jack. But anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and I've really, I'm, well, I'm definitely going to play more of this. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!